All right, I'm going to show you how to make something like these images right here. Um, all you need is a camera, a tripod, and some sort of editing software. So here we go. All right, we're ready to take some photos. Um, I have my empty frame, I have my camera, and I have my tripod. You definitely do need a tripod. Um, you can't have the camera shifting at all from photo to photo. Um, make sure you have a tripod. Somebody holding the camera is not going to work out. The next thing you need is a blank background photo. So you want to take a photo or two of the background with nothing in it. I'm going to set a 10 second timer on my camera. So I'm going to change the mode here and hit the button to the left. We're going to go through and you want to select self timer 10 seconds and hit set and I'm going to hit my shutter release. While it's counting down, get in front. All right, I'm gonna take one more picture in a different spot with the timer still set. Take it to the computer and see how it turned out. Once we have our images, we're going to open up the background first in Photoshop. So I'm going to head up to File and I'm going to go to Open. I have it saved on my desktop here. So I'm going to open up my background. And here it is, it's on its own layer. We're going to place in the next photo. So this time we're going to file and we're going to do place embedded. And we'll go through, find the next one that we're going to put in, click on that and place it. Here it is on its own layer. We're going to hit enter on the keyboard. So we have our two layers, one with me on it and one with just the blank background. On the layer with me on it, I'm going to add a layer mask. So down here, we're going to add a layer mask. Click on that. It adds the extra rectangle to that layer. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to make a selection in here. So I'm going to select just what's inside the frame. And I'm going to end up leaving my hands in there. And I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. It's going to make some straight line selections for me, which is going to be helpful with this kind of selection. So just clicking each time I want the line to stop. And for the hand, I'm going to leave it in. And if I was doing this for real, I would probably go back and zoom in and make that a little neater around there, touching things up afterwards. But since it's just a tutorial, I'm gonna go kind of quick and not worry about making this hand selection totally perfect. Okay, when I get to the end here, I'm gonna double click. We made our selection and I'm gonna use the brush tool to remove what's in here. So make sure you're on this part of the layer. That is important. We're on the mask part of the layer. We're going to get our brush tool and not something that looks like the brush tool. We'll grab the brush tool. And I have a really large size brush right now. If you need to change your brush size or the hardness level, you can head up here. And a large brush with 100% um, hardness is going to work pretty good for this. So anywhere I click, is only going to be affected. The only part that's going to be affected is going to be in the selection, which we made right there. And then it's showing through to the layer underneath. We can get rid of that selection by going to select and deselect. And we were able to make that pretty quick. I would probably also crop this image a little bit. So I'm going to grab my crop tool and move some of the extra 
background photo stuff that's not needed. Crop in and hit enter on my keyboard. And I also like a good black and white photo. So I'm going to go down to cre create a new, what is that? Create a new fill layer. What is that? Adjustment layer. We're going to create a new fill or adjustment layer. And I'm going to go to black and white. And we'll change it to black and white. And then I think I'm going to also add a little bit of contrast to it. So I'll add that, bump up the contrast a little bit, maybe a tiny bit with the brightness. See how that changed my image a little bit. And there we go. We removed the middle pretty quick on our first image. And next we will do the one where it looks like we're floating. So we are going to now do the example where it looks like we're floating. And so I'm going to open up the background image again, going to file and open and getting that background image and opening that up again. It's going to make a new document here for us. And we got that. We're going to also place in the next photo file. This time we're doing place embedded instead of open. So place embedded and going through, finding the image that we're looking for, hitting place. It'll go right over the top of it. And I'm hitting enter on my keyboard. So we have our two images and we're going to add a layer mask to the top layer, clicking on here, making sure it adds the mask part to my layer. And I'm going to zoom in, and this time I'm going to remove what's underneath the frame. And again, I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. If it doesn't show up for you, you can click and hold down on that tool, and that will reveal more diff different tools. And I'm going to click and find my next spot and click again, just get more than I need and double click to end my selection so there it is and we're on the right part of the layer i'm going to grab my paintbrush or the brush tool and i have a giant brush again which is okay for this because it's only going to affect what's inside the selection we'll zoom out here and we can get rid of the selection going to select and deselect. Um, next, I am going to also crop this one. So I'll hit crop and bring things in on what's important in the image. Next time I do this one, I think I'll give myself a little bit more foreground to show the floating part. So leaving a little bit of the ground in there would probably help to to add to this effect, but we can also add the black and white going to our adjustment layer, black and white, and we can adjust the contrast and brightness if we want, also going to the adjustment layer, brightness and contrast, bump it up a little bit, maybe a tiny bit, check out our change that we made. And there we go. We have our other one as well. Not too difficult. Pretty quick process of making both of these images. And make sure you do have a tripod. If you don't and you just try to get it lined up in the same spot, it's pretty frustrating when you go through the, the process and you realize that things are just barely off. So make sure you use a tripod. That's all.